Good morning! Let's continue with our lesson. Number 4. Chris and Kiko formed a partnership on January 2 and agreed to share profits 90% and 10% respectively. Ako, laki naman nung kay Kiko. Ah, nung kay Chris pala. Chris contributed capital of 25,000. Kiko contributed no capital but, his, but has specialized expertise and manages the firm full-time. There were no withdrawals during the year. The partnership agreement provides no withdrawals during the year. Partnership agreement provides that capital accounts are to be credited annually with an interest of 5% of beginning capital. Kiko is to be paid a salary of, of 1,000 a month. Okay. Kiko is to receive a bonus of 20% of income before deducting his salary and the bonus. And interest on both capital accounts. So before deducting salary, the bonus, and interest before. Sabi dito. Okay. And bonus interest and Kiko's salary are to be considered partnership expenses. So take note class. The correct way is to not treat the salaries, interest, and the bonus as expenses. Nonetheless, yun yung sabi sa problem. Your problem number four is a common problem. This is actually a CPA board exam question. Okay. Hindi nga tama na i-treat siya as expense. Eh, pero yun yung nangyari. Yun yung gustong uh, sabihin ng problem. Na yun yung nangyari. So, kinikwento lang niya na gano'n ang nangyari. So, in that case, how will you work it out? How much is Kiko's bonus? Yun ang tanong. So, if it was treated, if this were treated as expenses, so tama yung sabi dito. Kasali yung salaries, interest, and bonus. Na for dito sa 49,700. So, paano mo ngayon i-extract yung amount ng bonus lang? Alright? Patignan natin. Here is the solution. So, just in passing, we have learned from the foregoing discussions that salaries, interest, and bonuses should not be treated as expenses but a means of profit allocation. Nonetheless, ganyan yung nangyari. So, we should be careful in tracing how it affected the partnership income. Alright? Paano niya inapektuhan yung income na 46,700? Okay. The 46,750 46, was affected in such a way na hindi lang dapat yan yung net income. It was improperly diminished by the salaries, interest, and bonus. Alright? So, ibig sabihin nun, kung naididak dito, okay, yung mga supposed to be hindi naman idinidak, that means to say, adding back the salaries, interest, and the bonus here okay, will properly correct the income account. And in the process, may extract din natin yung amount ng bonus. So, ano daw ba yung bonus? It is supposed to be 20% of the income. Magmura tayong konti at medyo it's becoming a jungle of tick marks already. The bonus is supposed to be 20% percent of income calculated before the salaries, bonus, and interest. Before the salaries, interest, and bonuses. Therefore, 20 percent okay, of the considered income, yan yung income na kinonsider ng partnership eh, according to its own computation. Eh, ganyan nga yung pagkakakompute. So, ano magagawa natin? You therefore add back yung mga elements na yon, salaries, interest, and bonuses. So, let us check. Ilan nga uli yung salaries? 1,000 a month. So, for 12 months, that becomes 12,000. So, yun yung 12,000 natin dito. Okay? For interest, it is 5% of the beginning capital. Sino lang bang may capital? Si Chris. Tama? So, 5% no 25,000. Ilan yon? That is 1,250. And add back also the bonus. Yun yung correct basis ng bonus natin. The bonus is 20% before all of these deductions. Alright? Just the same class. Punahin mong i-work out yung nasa loob ng parenthesis by combining similar terms. 46,750 plus 12,000 plus 1,250 plus B. So, eto, combine mo muna tong tatlo, 60,000. Alright? B. Alright. Yun yung B mo doon. Then, you can proceed to the next equation. Then, 20% of 60,000, 12,000. 20% of positive B. So, positive point 20 B. Transpose mo doon. Pagka transpose mo, magni-negative yung positive. So, may 1 na nagtatago dito, less 20% kasi nga negative na siya pagdating dito, it becomes 0.80B. 
ay 0.80B is equal to 12%. Same old procedure. Mahirap pa nga yung math sa high school eh kesa sa ginagawa natin. Tama ba? Mm. Mas mahirap yung mga ginagawa ninyo. Accounting is more on logic and English. This is 0.80 to cancel out one another. 12,000 divided by 0.80, the bonus should be 15,000 pesos. Those were our notes for the bonus, salaries and interest, and capital ratio. These are very important because all of this will govern your computations later on. Wala pa tayo dun sa actual distribution ng profits or losses. Ayan. Eto na. Susunod na. Closing entries. The partnership recognizes a partner share in the net income or loss in the accounts through the closing entry. As in the case of a sole proprietorship, a partnership must make four entries in preparing closing entries. Okay. The entries are, number one, debit each revenue account for its balance and credit income and expense summary for the total revenues. This is to close the revenue account titles which have normal credit balances. So, the debit mo, credit mo naman yung income and expense summary. Number two, debit the income and expense summary, of course, for the expenses naman and credit each expense account for its balance. The total of the expenses debited to income and expense summary. Okay, to close the expenses. Number three, debit the income and expense summary for its balance and credit each partner's capital account for his or her share in the net income. Ito na yung distribution of the profit if it is a profit. Or credit, baliktad naman, and debit each partner's, ikre-credit mo naman yung income and expense summary. And debit each partner's capital account, so mababawasan, for his or her share in the net loss. So in number three ay distribution procedure. Four, debit each partner's capital account for the balance in the partner drawing account. This is to close the drawing account. And credit each partner's drawing account for the same amount. Para masara yung withdrawal account. So to close revenue accounts, to close expense account titles, to distribute the income, and to close yung ating withdrawal accounts. The first two entries are the same as in a proprietorship. The last two entries are different because first, there are more than two. Okay? There are two or more, I should say. There are two or more owner's capital and drawing accounts. And number two, it is necessary to divide net income among the partners. Correct. Not unlike in a proprietorship, wala tayong division procedures kasi isa lang may-ari. Walang hatian. So dito, bukod sa madaming capital accounts, then consequently, yung number two, kailangan paghati-hatian among those capital accounts which represents the share of the partner in the net income or loss for that period. Comprehensive illustration. Ayan. When teachers like me teach in front of a live audience, we derive satisfaction to some extent from the interaction with students. Yung mga simpleng pagtawa mo sa mga jokes namin, they mean something to us. They make us happy. But teaching in front of the camera is a different thing. We don't even know if you're there. We don't even know if you're listening. So a simple like dun sa ating video, or a simple present sir, nandito po kami nakikinig, we are watching sir, will inspire us. When teachers like me teach in front of a live audience, we know that you are there. But teaching in front of the camera, is not merely sharing our content. It means sharing our time, our devotion, and above all, our passion. So, yung simpleng pag-subscribe mo sa amin, it lets us know that you are there and we are here to continue what we are doing. So, ngayon pa lang, nagpapasalamat na kami. Diyan sa yung subscription, uh, it inspires us. It, since it inspires me to wake up every morning, prepare discussion materials, and continue what I am doing. So, thank you so much. Please continue sharing and liking and subscribing. Thank you. On January 1, 2020, Mary Ilia and Anna Casibel started Fortitude Merchandising by investing cash of 247,000 and 156,700 respectively. Since then, both partners made additional investments and withdrawals. Additional investments by Mary Ilia, 28,000 on March 30 and another 66,500 on May 10. While Anna Casibel 
added 47,500 on May 18. Mary Elia withdrew 38,000 on July 25. So, withdrawal naman. While, Anna Casibel took 19,000 for personal use on August 24. The partnership earned 226,100 for the year ended December 31. Other than the closing of income or loss to the capital accounts, no other events would involve the capital accounts. So, class, requirements we have here, 7. Profit sharing, profit or loss sharing schemes. Prepare a schedule of profit distribution and the closing entries. Schedule of profit distribution and closing entries under the seven independent agreements. So here, for as long as you are able to show how much of the income. 226,100 goes to Mary Elia and to Anna Casibel, then that would be enough. Yun yung pinaka-objective ng profit distribution schedule. Then gagawa na natin siya ng closing entry. So pinaka-una, equal sharing. Pinaka-madali. So from time to time, di na muna natin babasahin itong 7 na to. Okay? Particularly yung latter part kasi mahaba. But from time to time, babalikan natin. Okay? Equal sharing ratio. Very simple. Balance to be divided equally. Ibig sabihin, the 226,100 should be divided 50-50. Eh? This is our profit distribution schedule and this is our closing entry. Debit. Income and expense summary, 226,100. Credit. To increase the respective capital accounts, 113,050 for both Mary Ilia and Anna Casibel. Okay? Let's just call them M-E and A-C. Okay? <laughs> Requirement number two. Okay, ano sabi dito sa requirement number 2 natin? Income would be divided using a preset ratio of 5 is to 3. Ibig sabihin yan, 5 over 8 okay, and 3 over 8. 4, ME and AC respectively. By agreement of partners, 5 is to 3 profit sharing ratio. So, papano? 5 out of 8, 3 out of 8 of the 226,100 will go to ME, 141, 312.5. So, yun yun. And 3 out of 8 of the 226,100 will go to AC. 84,787.5. Ito yung profit distribution schedule natin. Ito naman yung closing entries natin. Debit. Income and expense summary for the amount of total income. Net income. Credit the respective capital accounts for the amounts computed dito sa ating profit distribution schedule. Okay? Requirement number 3. In the ratio of investments at the beginning, beginning of the fiscal period. So, beginning capital balances. Mary Elia and Anna Casibel started the business with 247 and 156,750. Beginning capital balances respectively. So, yun yung gagamitin mong pag-formulate ng ratio. 247,000 plus 156,750. That is 403,750. Okay, these are exactly the same figures as in your book. So, kung merong mang discrepancy, class, itignan mo kasi ito na yung correct yung ginagamit natin, copy dito. So, pay, pay close attention para hindi naman sayang yung time natin. 247,000 over 403,750 so on so forth. Ganon din dito kay 156,750 times 226,100. So, as it turns out, 138,320 goes to ME and 87,780 goes to AC. Okay? This is our schedule of profit distribution and this one is our closing entry. Debit income expense Spend summary, 226,100. Credit respective capital accounts for the computed amounts. Okay? Requirement number four. In the ratio of average capitals, ayan na, investments and withdrawals are to be considered as made at the beginning of demand if made on or before the middle of demand and are to be considered as made at the beginning of the following month if made after the middle of the money. <laughs> So, naintindihan mo ba yun? Sabi ko sa'yo, English to, eh. hindi naman mathematics to eh. Kaya papaliwanag pa rin natin. Okay? So, for number 4, mas mahalaga, i-present na lang natin in a tabular form yung nangyari kay Mary Ilia at kay, 
kay Anna Casibel. Okay? Since the problem is in paragraph form, it would greatly help if we recast it in tabular form. So, ito yung nangyari. January 1, nag-invest sila, 247-100. Okay? Beginning 156-754, the second partner. March 30 daw, nag-invest. May, nag-invest uli. July 25, nag-withdraw naman. So, ito yung kanilang ending capital balances. Ganun din for these dates, May 18, August 24. Could you please check that out dun sa ating problem? Okay, yung mga petsa dito, i-check mo. As it turns out, the dates there are correct. I have checked that already. So, going back dito sa ating solution, sa requirement number 4, those are the beginning balances. These are the ending balances after considering investments and withdrawals. As stated in the requirement, investments and withdrawals withdrawals are to be considered as made at the beginning of the month if made on or before the middle of the month meaning to say first to 15 days huwag ka mag-alala, tatagalugin natin mamaya and are considered as made at the beginning of the following month if made after the middle of the 15th day. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kung yung pangyayari yung pangyayari na yun, either additional investment or withdrawal, ay nangyari bago magkalagitnaan na ng buwan, intindihin mong mabuti, which is the 15th day. So say for example, nangyari sa ilang first day, okay, second, third, fourth, hanggang 15th day. Kung yung investment or withdrawal na yun nangyari from the first to 15th day, ang consideration nangyari siya at the beginning ng current month na yun, okay? If the happening, again, once again, the happening na tinutukoy natin dito, investment or withdrawal. If the happening happened after the end of the middle of the month, after, after, after the middle of the month, so after the 15th day, ang consideration, it happened at the beginning of the following month nangyari na daw siya. Doon sa umpisa, ganun mo siya i-consider ng, uh, ng following month, ng susunod na month. So say for example, example lang, yung nangyaring May 18 investment dito, dahil lagpas na siya ng May 15, it is as if the 47,000 here was made, hindi na ng May. June 1 na ang consideration. Dyan. Okay, are you following? So, etong investment dito na May 10, dahil before May 15 nangyari yan, it is as if nangyari siya ng May 1. Are you following? I repeat, ang cut-off mo, yung gitna ng buwan, which is 15. Okay? Etong isang to nangyari bago magkalagitnaan ng buwan. So, anong consideration mo? As if ito, ito, stoy, kinig. As if ito nangyari ng May 1. Alright? Etong May 18 naman na to, dahil lumagpas na siya doon sa 15, as if nangyari na sa umpisa ng susunod na buwan. Ano ba umpisa ng susunod na buwan? June 1. So, as if June 1 na itong pangyayari na to. Okay? I hope you got that loud and clear. Alright? We proceed. Therefore, to compute the average capital balances, okay, unahin natin si Mary Ilia, yung, yung ating January 1, 247, 7,000 dito, 12 over 12, so 247,000. We are following the second way of computing, weighted average capital balance. So, kung maalala mo yung two ways na present natin dyan. Actually, there is a third way, pero bakit pa? Ito na yung pinakamadali, okay? March 30, ang consideration dyan, nangyari ng April 1, okay? So, kung April 1 yan, that is 9 over 12. Ayan. May 10, ito, para maitaas na natin yung page, tandaan mo, May 10, July 25, alright? May 10, July 25. So, itong May 10 na to, ang consideration, sabi natin, that is May 1. So, kasali yung buong May. Kaya, ang bilang mo, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Kaya, 8 months. Ayan, 8 months. Alright. Okay, class. So, that's the bell already. That's it for this meeting. Uh, so, ganun-ganun lang, class. A few minutes of your time every day, imbis na kung ano-ano yung pinapanood mo, just make it a habit to watch our videos pa bilang tulong na rin dun sa sarili mong pag-aaral. Why? Kasi tatandaan mo, hindi lahat ng nababasa mo ng mag-isa ay maririnig mo. At hindi din lahat ng mga naririnig mo ay mababasa mo. Tulungan yan. So with that, see you in our next meeting. See you in the next lesson.